hey, uh, what's going on, missioners? Okay, so <clears throat> I've come to the conclusion that I'm raising myself. This morning, my spirit told me at 6.30 a.m., well, around there. I'm, for the public, I'm going to get hit with the other version of my book. It says, a lot, I said, I'm going to say, a lot of our parents are, and somebody even agree with this, a lot of our parents are not raising us. A lot of our parents are only great providers. And, and that's the stone hard, cold hearted truth. A lot of us are not being raised by our parents. And that doesn't mean like you're alone, just you're being raised by your grandma. I don't mean that. I mean, a lot of us are not being instilled by our parents to be our, high, to be our highest selves and even to be a great human being, period. Um, a lot of us, the TV is raised, and I think it's, this is done on purpose. I think the TV is raising us, technology is raising us, um, our environment is, we're subject to our environment, and, and sometimes what we like and dislike, and our passions and disciplines. But our parents are not raising us. Um, they're not even helping us be our highest selves and our highest ideal. They're and I think, again, I think this is being done on purpose. They're, um, to, to some extent, by society and by the higher elite, where the children have kind of have complete autonomy of, you know, I don't want to do that and I can be whatever in this function. But outside of that, outside of that, I had to completely understand that my parents did not, like, I can't, like, uh, the, I can't look, like, I have Pluto in my fourth house, and that's what this video is going to be called, Pluto in his fourth house. I realized my parents laced me with nothing, like, nothing important. Like, when I say nothing important, as I go into my adult life, I really got to, I hate to say this, but I, I got to humble myself. Because, yo, I don't really, I mean, I know a lot. I'm wise. But, and I think that's what keeps me safe. I'm wise. But my parents didn't raise me for shit. My parents, I, yo, I can't, I can't. And one of the reasons why I'm not speaking to my parents is because they didn't give me nothing. So I'm sitting here like, what, what the fuck, what the fuck do we have to talk about? Oh wow, people, ooh, they came to ransack this home. They wasn't playing. Damn, I, I really should have came back last night. Fuck, that shit was really good. But anyway, oh okay, I really realized like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting food. I realized that my parents did not raise me. They did not raise me. They, I don't have nothing emotionally, mentally. I don't have nothing healthy. Let me, let me say that. I don't have nothing healthy. I don't have nothing functional. I don't have nothing that I could do something with that is that I could be proud of to say my parents taught me this. My parents taught me that. I don't have that. I have a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Let me not say a lot because I really don't have, I don't have a whole lot. Well, maybe I do and I have, I don't recognize it. Maybe I do. And I'm going to leave that for somebody else because they could, they could come over today. Um, I, I have, I have a lot of dysfunction let me say well, well i would say when i say dysfunction here's what i mean i mean dysfunction that i gotta get rid of and and i realized and accepted that my parents did 
emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, nothing. I'm raising myself to be mentally, spiritually, financially sound. And my, that has nothing to do with my parents. All they did was provide for me till I can, till I was of age, let me put it like that. They raised me until I was of age to raise my, to raise and provide for myself. That's it. No more, no less. They raised me enough to the point where I can raise, where I can provide for myself. And that's it. And that's a scary and fast. And I have to, I have to, um, I have to become my highest version from that place. I can't, I can't fuck around and be like that didn't happen. Because I gotta realize when I say when I say I had to humble I have to humble myself, here's what I mean. I have to realize I don't know much healthy shit. Now, thank God, and I say thank God, I'm wise beyond my years because of my moon in Capricorn. And, it, and that's why I'm so grateful for my moon in Capricorn, but I also see the weaknesses of Capricorn um, a lot too. So um, thank God I know astrology because it get, it gives me so much clarity on my life. If I sit there and study it, I can understand, for instance, why my parents were the way they were. Why my why my why why I can't get along? For instance, I I know why I can't get along with Capricorns because they're my South Node. So things about them will irritate me. They'll irritate me and they'll be like, uh, I'll, be, I'll sit there and be like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I, I will literally sit there and curse them out because I'm like, I, I feel like they're stagnant energy. And I feel, I feel like if you, if you if you're, um, if you're, your South node doesn't. If your South Node does not irritate you, you ain't you ain't growing. If you could hang around your South Node, and it's either two things: you can't deeply understand them, or they don't irritate you. Yo, you you not you is not growing. You is not you not becoming you not you not you you're not seeking a higher sense of self. If your South Node does not make you say, "What the fuck? Why are you doing that?" Are you dumb? Like on some real like squint in your eyes type of shit. You're not growing. You're not becoming. You're not becoming. Period. You're not you're not becoming. You're not becoming. If your if your self no doesn't make you squint your eyes and make you angry and i was even say like yo what are you doing what the fuck are you doing because you know that's counterproductive and the reason why you see it as counterproductive is because because you know yourself you know your purpose right your, your north node but it also because what's interesting is that my moon is in capricorn <laughs> 